Frozen in time, that is how many archaeologists and historians describe the ancient Roman city of Pompeii. Villas and homes, temples, markets, and people forever preserved beneath the ashes of the 79 AD eruption of Mount Vesuvius. August 24, 79 AD began as a normal day in Pompeii, a Roman city located several miles off the Bay of Naples. But at 1 p.m., Mount Vesuvius, a volcano believed to be dormant by the citizens of Pompeii, violently erupted. A cloud of pumice, ash, stone, and gas rose 20 miles into the sky before cooling and falling to the streets below, killing people in the open and trapping others in their homes. Ash fell from the sky until 6 p.m. on August 24th, then seemed to stop. On the morning of the 25th, survivors ventured outside, believing the worst of the eruption to be over. However, a pyroclastic surge soon descended from Mount Vesuvius, crushing buildings and instantly killing any living creature in its path. For the next 1,700 years, the once vibrant urban center of Pompeii would remain buried and forgotten under over 20 feet of inflated pumice. Pompeii was rediscovered during a 1748 exploration of Civita and would become perhaps the most remarkable archaeological site in the world for the next 300 years. But why is Pompeii so well preserved? How did the eruption of Vesuvius create this incredible degree of conservation? Much of Pompeii's preservation can be explained through the nature of the volcanic ash which buried the city. The volcanic material that fell to the streets of Pompeii included lapilli and tephra ash, a very fine-grained molten lava. As this material covered objects throughout the area, they became tightly enclosed and carbonized. Essentially, this tephra ash formed layers around organic materials and buildings, protecting them from the elements until their rediscovery in the 18th century. This day, archaeologists are amazed by the remarkable preservation of valuable art, jewelry, buildings, and organic material, which provide a snapshot of what daily life was like in this once thriving urban center. The conservatory nature of the ash has even allowed items such as bread and fruits to become carbonized, revealing important information about trade and agriculture in Pompeii, as well as the season in which the eruption took place. Perhaps the most striking preserved remains at Pompeii are the ancient city's former citizens. In the final pyroclastic flow of the 79 AD eruption, burning hot volcanic mud moved down the mountain at high speeds. When the thousand degree volcanic flow came in contact with organic matter, including humans, all fluids within that matter instantly turned to steam. The mud and ash surrounded the human skeletal remains, encasing them in a sort of natural tomb. Archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli discovered that when the space between the ash and the skeleton was filled in with plaster, the resulting cast revealed Pompeii's population and their final poses, moments away from death. The preservative nature of Mount Vesuvius's volcanic ash has created a snapshot of the Roman Italic world, something unseen at most archaeological sites on the planet. Today, at least 22 hectares of Pompeii remain buried beneath the ash, left uncovered and protected from the influence of tourism and damaging contact with the open air. In this way, the valuable artifacts within these ashes can be conserved for future archaeologists to discover and learn new information. The nature of the 79 AD eruption of Mount Vesuvius was catastrophic for the citizens of the once great Roman city of Pompeii. However, the remarkable preservation of the city caused by the consistency of volcanic ash serves as a reminder of the power of nature and Earth's geological processes, strong enough to bury a city and keep an entire civilization frozen in time.